Hello everyone, I hope you're all safe and well. Welcome back and thanks for joining me for another video. I know it's been a little while since my last upload uh, and I'm sorry about that. Um, work's been a, a bit crazy. Um, and life has a habit of getting in the way sometimes, but we're back today with uh, an unboxing of a new order from the spider shop. This is a little bit of a frustrating process with this order to start with. So we placed the order back at the beginning of last week um, and we're expecting it to be delivered on the Friday. Um, however, the day after we placed the order, we had an email back saying that the Syriopagopus Hattie Hattie female that we'd ordered was actually unavailable. Um, and would we like to replace it with something else? So I had a look at their website and saw that they had some Damon Medius in stock. Um, I've, uh, the tail is Whip Scorpions. They're pretty cool. I've always found them quite interesting. So I, I, we said, yeah, could you replace it with a couple of those? I was expecting that to, you know, turn up. But because obviously it took a little while for them to receive the message that we'd sent, um, uh, it was no longer possible to deliver on the Friday. So when they emailed back to say, yeah, not a problem, uh, they said they would post Monday for delivery Tuesday. So Monday came and we had an email from them saying that they were unable to ship on that day and they would ship for delivery Thursday instead. Uh, so again, not a problem. I appreciate sometimes there are delays. So Thursday came and obviously they didn't arrive. So we checked the emails and noticed that they'd sent an email saying that um, the Damon Medius that they were going to replace the Syriopagopus Hattie Hattie with were actually not in stock either. Um, by the time we'd responded for that, um, obviously they got them shipped out on the Thursday uh, for delivery today. Um, so yeah, the parcels arrived. Um, they've said they're gonna refund us for uh, the Syriopagopus Hattie Hattie that wasn't available in the first place. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get open in the box and uh, see how the rest of it is. Okay, that's not a good sign because straight away you can clearly tell there are no braid plus tubs in this little box here. Okay, so this isn't looking particularly good. Obviously, we've got the two tarantulas there. Um, we're supposed to be having three turn up. Um, we've got the five species of um, isopods. Uh, we'll go through and have a proper look at these and a count up of these in a second. Um, but no braid plus tubs, which we're gonna use to house the isopods when they arrived. Um, as you can tell, they've arrived in uh, pots with just a little bit of uh, moist tissue and a bit of egg crate in um, so they're going to need to be rehoused into something pretty soon um, the tubs that we were expecting to house these in haven't arrived um, so yeah well I guess we've got what we've got let's go ahead and make sure everything's okay That's a sub adult female Syriopagopus vonworthy. Seems okay. And this is an adult female Syriopagopus dorie. The other female we were supposed to have in this lot that hasn't arrived um, is a Stromatopalma calciatum adult female, feather leg baboon. Uh, there we go. 
and that's the Suryopodopa storiae. You can see her in there, right. First of all, we've got the Porcelio Scaber, uh, Dalmatian color form. Uh, it's supposed to be 10 in there. Let's have a look. We've got one, Get a paintbrush so I can move this around a bit better. So we've got one here, two, three, four, five, and a little baby one, six. Seven, another little baby one, eight, nine, yeah, ten. There's probably, there's probably eleven or twelve in there actually. <coughs> Next, we've got the Porcelio Levis uh, orange colour form. So you go with one little skedaddling about on the top at the moment there. Um, and there's a few under there. Yeah, there you go. So you can see these guys, they're all out and about. And we've got the P. Pyrenosis orange colour form. guys in there yeah there's a few of them in there um, supposed to be 20 of these little guys yeah quite possible about that I'm not gonna count them individually looks about right <coughs> next we've got these now these are I was really excited about these are absolute monsters um, this is the Porcelio Hoffman Segai, which are the giant isopods, as you can see there. They are absolutely monstrous. Uh, supposed to be 10 in there. We'll get those out and have a look in a bit. It's some still. Just going for a little wonder. These are absolute monsters. Try and stick them in there without chopping bits off. And then we've got the P species Seville, which is another large um, species as well. There we go. As you can see, there are 10 of those in there. Easily get in. No escaping. Right, so we're going to have to find some temporary means of setting these up. We'll have to go out tomorrow. Um, at some stage and get some tubs because obviously the braid plus tubs that we ordered for these um, haven't arrived um, I've got setups for these that I'll do uh, very shortly but I'll do a separate video on the housing of the Syriopagopus Von Worthy and the Syriopagopus Dorier so uh, if I'm honest a little bit of a disappointing box there from the spider shop obviously there's been issues with this order right from the very beginning um, with uh, stuff that we've ordered not being in stock, stuff that we've said that we would like to replace those items with, which were initially okay, have then also not been in stock. Um, and now obviously it's turned up and we're down one uh, adult female and the boxes to put, the, the, the tubs to put the isopods in. I have been back on to double check uh, my emails and it appears that after the parcel was shipped yesterday they did then send us another message to say that um, the s calciatum female that we ordered was um, uh, unavailable due to the fact it had received some form of injury so they were unable to post it um, and that they had run out of stock of the Brayplast tubs 
uh, which we ordered obviously to put the ice pods in. Um, so yes, they did email us and let us know, and yes, they're going to refund us for the items that we haven't received. But that email wasn't sent until after it shipped, so there wasn't really an opportunity to, uh, you know, replace that with anything else or or look into um, other options that were available. Maybe um, they just sent it anyway. Um, uh, packaging's fantastic as always. We're happy with obviously the items that we did receive. Um, it's just not been a particularly good process, not a very good order at all um, from the beginning. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I I'm sorry, Spider Shop, you've you've not impressed me this time. Okay, that's all from me today. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, in the next unboxing video we do will go a little bit better than this one did. As always, please feel free to leave a comment like if you're not already subscribed don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified about future uploads and we'll see you again next time stay safe